Welcome back to Chippo Fishing here at Jordan Lake, Hall Riverside again. Uh, last time I had decent catch, wind switch, shut down, and it bothered me a lot. Why it bother me? Because I couldn't figure out how to make them bite. So when I go fishing, two things. Why didn't I catch fish? More importantly, why did I catch fish? Food for thought for you guys. So special guest today. Mr. Stacy. How you doing? Uh, retired co-worker. Living the life, living the dream. Uh, big on turkey hunting, deer hunting, and fishing. So let's go get them. Oh, special shout out to fishing buddies. Um, Brad and Ivan, you guys are in uniform, serving your country in deployment right now. Um, thank you very much. And um, hey Brad, get on with it. Okay, there's a feeding school about 25 foot out and 10 foot down. Let me show you this little trick here. Okay, we're going to pitch my jig out here right in front of the live scope. One went out. We're going to make sure it can go all the way down to 10 foot. We're going to count down to 10. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Okay, that's our count. Now, why do we do that? Because we're going to cast about 25 foot out. And looking for them again. They're in my ghost tree. I think that's them right there. And count down to four. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, and we're going to slow wind over top of them. They might have moved on. I don't see them. I think they're still in my ghost tree. I see him following it. Nope. Crappy not biting. But we coerced a bass into coming in. <laughs> not the biggest hoss, but it is a fish. It's a fish. About time. <laughs> Congratulations. Got the skunk off. Got the stink off. There we go. Free Willie. All right, fishy number two on the purple worm. River wasn't producing the numbers were not there uh, run and gun we tried a couple spots on the s turns run and gun some more we're in Ebenezer uh, no on Ebenezer bridge no bait uh, saw one bass underneath the uh, bridge uh, reports of small small fish uh, and then, uh, so we're on the back side of Ebenezer, looking on the road bed, checking the bottom. And not seeing anything. Right here's the road bed. See how it hump, humps up? And then right here, so we're looking the road bed on both sides.
Okay, I'm trying to pull all the tricks out of the bags. We're on the flats now. Ten foot of water. Heading towards a bend in the river channel. See if anything's bunched up for us. Jordan Lake still down almost two foot. Uh, I guess we got about a foot of water from the rain. They're not releasing much. Um, we have made a lot of different attempts uh, searching, look for them, uh, different areas, different scenarios. Uh, cannot find. Won't say any, but not many. No, no pattern. And it's tough to put together a pattern on your jig profile, jig color, without finding the fish first. Um, so, um, what have we learned here? Learn to never give up. Keep on trying. Um, you take the areas that you've looked at and compare them and maybe check them with other areas that look similar and see if you've missed something there and then you can sort of scratch that off your list after a couple of times now then um, remember in similar conditions that's why i say go under all conditions so that when you get those conditions, you'll know what to do next time or you have a better idea of what to do or what not to do. Um, today, we have not really done anything wrong, but um, I'm seeing some here. So let's give it a try. Did mark a few up underneath the shade of this tree. Um, that's a tough one to cast. <laughs> We're back where we started. Um, just tossing jigs and small crankbait to the grass. Um, seen a few small crappie on the bottom and looking for Stacy to get another bass. <laughs> Good day, go home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, little guy. He'll definitely get free. First crappy of the day. Sling him on in. That's keeper. Congratulations. Right there on the bank. Crappy. Yep. Right on the bank, bud. Awesome. Well, folks, we're going to call it a wrap. Mr. Stacy enjoyed it, and yes, we'll do sir, it again. I enjoyed it. Um, bunch of fish caught me. And zero. But that's okay. Enjoyment level, boom, up to here. Always fun to blessed to be on the water. Um, look, at, as I speak, there they go. <laughs> but, you know, that's fishing. So let's do a recap. Uh, water temp was like 68, 67. And actually when we came back to that pocket we started at, it was 72. So um, it's changed. The water's starting to clear up. Uh, water's still down overall, but a uh, good productive day. We have tried. Uh, a lot of different areas, different, I don't know, say different styles, but different locations, 
different structure, um, shallow, deep, and finally caught some late afternoon shallow, so, um, if you're looking to go to Jordan, maybe Harris is a good place to start. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks again. Enjoyed it. All right, we'll talk to you next time. Peace.